Hi guys, I'm Angelina. Um, well, I've met Chris three years ago, so I knew about this amazing centre and have actually, unfortunately, never been here until today. Um, I was attacked um, exactly today, seven years ago, um, almost murdered by organised by someone that I knew and loved and trusted. Just what you've happened once doesn't make me immune now. So I just want to arm myself with some skills, um, even knowing about diffusing situations, how to read situations with men, some general knowledge, and I think that would give me a sense of empowerment and a bit more confidence knowing that I might have some skills ready to go should, God forbid, should, should I need them. Hopefully I won't, but that's, that's why I'm here. So. Yeah, thank, yeah. You. thank you. Okay. Welcome to the Sydney Self Defence Centre, if you've never been here before. Um, we pride ourselves on the fact that we are spending um, all of our days, literally now, in the right, Nicky? <laughs> Teaching kids and corporate and nighttime classes, and often our days start at 7 a.m. and finish at 9.30 at night. All right, so, you know, they're pretty full on. Uh, the reason we're doing that is because we're training 25 to 30,000 people per year. All right, so it's not just this centre anymore, it's our influence out of this centre that's become quite powerful. Self-defence is a science that a lot of people don't quite get. And you've got to make sure that you've got your self-defence buttons on. Self-defence is not about hurting people. It's about stopping people from hurting you. Now, if you think of it that way, you understand why we've got a uh, policy within Australia, for example, um, that has self-defence written on it. Australia, every sovereign nation has a self-defence policy. And that doesn't mean you have preemptive strikes against people or try and hurt people. What it means is a stop aggression against you. All right, so whatever it takes to do that. Hello, I'm Angelina Bonet for Heart of the Matter, interviewing the one and only Chris Futcher Coles at his amazing self defence school, Sydney Self Defence in Sydney. Welcome. Thank you. So thank nice you. to see you again, Chris. Lovely to see you too. Oh, thank you. I interviewed you for the first time back in February 2016, can you believe, at the V Day One Billion Rising Organisation. Tell me what's been happening for you since. We've been very busy, right? Our area really is in uh, personal safety and self-defence. Um, so we work with women at risk, domestic violence. We work with teenagers at risk, mm -hmm. right, in their environment. Uh, we work with kids, anti-bullying programs. We work with seniors, right? It, it is a very, been an interesting few years, I'll put it that way. I know, I've seen you very active with it. We know that you're a White Ribbon Ambassador. Congratulations on the amazing advocacy work that you're doing. I think it's so interesting in, we're in a time where a lot of women are feeling like we've got to stand up, speak out, hashtag Me Too movement. But this is an issue for men to address too and I think you're such a positive role model. How did you get involved with that? Well, I was actually uh, voted uh, by a group of people to go into White Ribbon. I didn't even know what the organisation was, but they put my name forward. And uh, one day White Ribbon contacted me and said that you've been nominated to become an ambassador. And uh, I went and visited them and I started to understand that really it's a group of men against the violence of women. And that was my stance. That was exactly where I was. So for me it was a natural step to go in as an ambassador and be very active in that role uh, and be involved in active programs to help women feel more confident have the ability to be able to handle, right, not just hopefully as survivors of domestic violence, but also to get there before it happens yes. and run programs at schools and colleges and all the rest. And that, that's kind of the direction I went after uh, getting the ambassadorship. Yeah. That's phenomenal. I mean, we're here today at the Sydney Self Defence Centre. Yeah. You run this Stay Safe program. Correct. We've just, I actually just completed the first. Uh, first step isn't it the first, yeah, stage. first stage it was unbelievable I have to say I didn't know what to expect I wanted this to be a really empowering day and to come together with other women and have the tools I guess to understand how predators think why there's violence in our society and what to do if you're ever in a situation like that yeah. so how did this all come about what made you want to start these workshops for free i might add this is in lieu of mother's day you yeah. also do it for white ribbon white ribbon yes, yes. Yeah. um i just think it's so kind of you to actually give up your time on a sunday to help all girls over the age of 13. Mm. how did this all begin it's really about empowerment for me right uh we run a center here where we teach kung fu we teach martial arts here and our sphere of um influence has been going out and out every year and what we've noticed is a lot of women 
things hold them back, particularly women who are survivors of domestic violence. One of them is money. Mm -hmm. It's a big issue yeah. for them. And for them to come in and spend money on a day on personal safety, they know they need some safety training but they also need to feed their kids. So we started a process of opening the doors up and allowing women to come in and, and learn personal safety for free. It's wonderful. How do you think that that can help women? I know you go out to schools and help the girls out there. Yeah. Do you think that if we're equipped with this knowledge and some skills, that that can actually deter situations or at least give us the tools to, if we are in a situation? What do you think about the school girls learning this? Look, I, I think it's a brilliant idea, but it's, it, they're, they're not created equal. Martial arts is not a, a created equal process, right? Some martial arts are sport-based, and sport-based means it's, you know, you're in a ring or you're on a mat and you're playing for plastic trophies and, you know. But if it's a self-defence-based process, what they should be in there is a lot of education. Mm -hmm. It can't be just something physical where you're punching somebody. It's got to be, you know, what are you doing before the act? What are you picking up in this? What's your negotiation skills? All right, how are you metabolising your fears? All right, how are you working? How are you making that first decision in front of somebody? Can you walk away? Yeah. All right, you've got to take yourself out of the aggression, be assertive and take control of that situation for you and your safety. Mm -hmm. This is not as simple as just learning how to punch at it. Mm. There's more to it than that, and I think you understood that today. Yes. Mm. Yeah, it was wonderful. I, I love how you covered a lot of topics too. It wasn't just the practical, as you say. Mm. So what do you think the, the biggest takeaway is for, for everybody here today? What do you think that... What's your aim for, for this? Change. I think that's the most powerful thing. Uh, in an audience like we had today, there was quite a few girls that have been through this. Yes. All right. It's, it's the way it is. Yeah. And a lot of those girls think that maybe they did something wrong. I hope they walk out today understanding that they were not the problem. And in the future, they will be the solution. Yeah. All right. I think that's important. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the most powerful takeaway. Look, the physical know how to fight back, that is part and parcel of it. Yeah. But the true belief in themselves, oh, that's powerful, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Chris, you are changing the world. Thank you. You are just creating such a wonderful space here. As soon as I walked in, didn't I say to you, it's so positive and mm. you've created a, a family-like environment um, and you're helping so many people. So tell me about the, the values that, you, that this is all based on. You've got five virtues, is that right? Yep. Um, originally the style had uh, patience, perseverance, kindness, understanding and humility. Mm -hmm. All right. um, we're a Kung Fu based martial arts, so we're energy based, which means that what you project is what you get. So we're not particularly aggressive. Mm -hmm. We are assertive, we want to get the job done. No one, um, if someone attacks us, we have the answers to the question. We have no wish to, to attack anyone. Mm -hmm. Right, we don't feel an aggressive bone in our body. We calm that down on our floor here. Yeah. All right, we raise people up who need the raising up. Mm -hmm. It's a process of bringing the right energy forward. Mm -hmm. All right, and to have virtues like patience. I mean, how long is it going to take to learn something that's worthwhile? Mm -hmm. Right, got the general idea. Yeah. Perseverance, never give up. All of these that's things really are just nice. so powerful. They're invaluable. All right, when I'm teaching in corporate. Um, when we get to know each other on the first corporate program, mm -hmm. I will tell them I'm not teaching you to hurt anyone. No. Right? I'm teaching you how to get home safe to your family tonight. Mm -hmm. And that's the reality. That's where the energy comes from. Mm -hmm. I think that's why you're so successful. Thank you. You're a peaceful person. You're so inspiring. I think everybody here today just feels so uplifted by your, en your energy, your spirit, and, and Jody, of course, your lovely wife, um, and all the boys that were helping out today. And yeah, right it's a really positive energy, and uh, you should be so proud of yourself. And I'm so glad I came today. Oh, thank you. So thank you, Chris, for your time. Thank you very much, Angela. Yeah. It was lovely to see you again oh, after all these years. I you haven't know. changed a bit. Oh, <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> thank you so much, and all the best. Thank you.